In North Carolina today, a preliminary autopsy said a little-known lung disease combined with other factors probably killed former football star Reggie White. White was killed, it was just 43 when he died yesterday. The lung disease is called sarcoidosis, an inflammation that experts say is rarely fatal, especially in one so young. But White also suffered from another condition that could have played a role, one that is not at all rare and can be cured. Channel 2's Robert Honda has that report. Reggie's coming again. Reggie White was known as the Minister of Defense, not only for his ability on the football field, but because he was, in fact, an ordained minister known for his work in the community. Outstanding human being, and besides being a great football player, we all know about him, just a great human being that uh, had a tremendous influence on this, on this country and the game. A preliminary autopsy report indicates the 43-year-old White died from a respiratory disease combined with other health problems and that sleep apnea may have been a factor. My first thought was that it had to be sleep apnea. I couldn't think of any other thing that it would be. Dr. Rafael Palayo is an associate professor at the Stanford Sleep Disorders Clinic. The clinic diagnoses and treats patients with sleep disorders or medical problems that may occur during sleep. Dr. Palayo says sleep apnea is a syndrome that causes people to stop breathing in their sleep. The brain has to choose between sleeping and breathing and prefers to, to sleep instead of to breathe. And what's happening is that the throat narrows when we're sleeping and when we're inhaling, when the throat is relaxing, it actually implodes and collapses. The tongue falls back and the uh, sides of our throat come, come together. Dr. Palayo says White was an obvious candidate for sleep apnea because it is prevalent among heavy-set, middle-aged men, especially African Americans and Latinos. The first sign would be the snoring. If somebody is snoring, that's the first sign that something is wrong. Uh, the second sign would be having non-refreshing sleep, waking up tired. So you snore, you wake up tired, you think you're getting older, when in fact it's because you're not getting adequate sleep. The Stanford Sleep Clinic is currently conducting research into how sleep apnea affects other health conditions, as well as learning and memory. Dr. Palayo said the clinic sends its condolences to White's family, but said his death could also raise public awareness about sleep apnea. We definitely want to increase awareness of sleep apnea because it's a common disease that's treatable and in fact is curable. It makes you count your days. I mean, it just every day is precious. When a guy 43 years old that uh, has done so many things and has so much ahead of him all of a sudden passes, and it's uh, I know it's hard to deal with. It's hard for all of us to deal with. Because of Reggie White's complicated health condition, the medical examiner says it could take several months to determine a final cause of death. Robert Honda, KTVU, Channel 2 News.